white jackets that somebody wants to see if they still have it. And then we're gonna stop at the uh, city train. Cause Remy bought something there and it doesn't fit him. So we're gonna go exchange city train. Thrifted heavy duty jacket. Yeah, and this mighty flow. It's like I just came out of Woodstock. But it's all good. So, I'll see you all later. And somebody's just sitting here because he hates. He just want to go straight to the nail shop and don't do nothing else. This guy bought some pants and they don't fit him. You think he want to go exchange it? But. I have to pull his hand. He was supposed to be driving, not me. I don't know why I'm driving. Shoes. But anyway. I wanted to chill. See y'all later. Peace. The water drops. Yeah. Just a moment on his lips. His pedicure. Mine's are so, so bad. Morning to guys. Happy Saturday. Hope all is well. Hope everybody has a blessed, blessed night and a good morning. So for those of us who are still going through it, we're still standing with strength with the Lord. But anyway, this is not a, a Bible sermon, not a preacher. Don't claim to be one. It's just my little good morning to you guys. I am having a live sale today. And um, I just realized I need some hangers. So like I tell you guys, DDs have like those velvet hangers. 25 with three hooks that you can hook stuff on the door. 25 hangers and three hooks for $8.99. After cleaning my closet, I realized I need a lot of hangers. Because I had to do it with some of those old black hangers and stuff. This dog refused to go to the bathroom. The owner and the little girl is pulling the dog and the dog is like, hell no, gotta go. But anyway, so that's why I'm going right now. Apart from my lifestyle, I don't have anything planned today. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I go get this hand because this hand thing is maybe I'll stop. You know, I got a notification from Uptown Chipskate, but it's really nothing. But I'll pop in to see if I can find the luxury. I don't, you know, I don't like this hair, but oh well. The other one was, the curly one was just way too much. I just have two kinds of hair. I need to go buy something really subtle. I mean, I like puffy, I like afro. I don't like super straight hair. I like a hair that looks like black texture. Nothing. European. I'm not curling anything. This is just like, I'm just gonna let it stay. So, I'm rocking my little H hat with my H glasses, MS2 glasses, and uh, my Levi's jacket. And I'm carrying my little, uh, my Nano. I got from Uptown Cheapskate. That's very much authentic.
tried it before I come to you guys because I gotta go over there and hang everything. So yeah. That's what we are doing. This Levi's puffy jacket is so puffy, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh. They have another they had a time color one. If it's still there. every Saturday they have some kind of sale so I was able to score some goodies I got two items I got a vintage red Chanel bag what's this crazy person doing in front of me and uh, I mean, people just don't care the way they drive I got the bag something really cute vintage there was a Prada bag but they wanted so much money for it I tried to Google Schmuggle, the Prada wasn't coming up. It came in different variations, but that particular one, I couldn't find it, but it looks so real. But because they're not sure, they had it out there for $89. So this is the thing about Uptown Cheapskate, my area. If they don't see, like with the Chanel Vintage, if they don't see an authenticity code according to what the girl told me, they cannot verify that is authentic but i know chanel i know my chanel vintage bags i know chanel from way back they didn't make authenticity codes way back when but it's a it's a little camera case but i love it i will show you guys on sunday so i'm glad i went over there because i wasn't gonna go i'm like yeah i want to go home because i'm having a live sale in a couple of hours you know but something said just go so i'm gonna go Keep an eye on that Prada bag. It's like light purple, soft leather. It looks so real because I don't think there's any copy. It's one of them old vintage Pradas. I don't think uh, people will, there will be replicas that are made like that because the detailing is just way too much for them to replicate it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm happy I went, which means, I don't have to go tomorrow but then again i just like because i like going there on sunday never know what they could put out so i'll keep you guys updated that's my saturday let me go get ready for my sale see you all peace good morning guys good morning happy sunday as you see it's a lazy day it's a lazy day guys don't think we're going to make it to church today. The weather is bad. It's very, very, very cold in the neck of my wood. We were told to stay home if we don't have to go anywhere. I just rolled out of bed. Haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth. All I had was water and some coffee. But I brushed my teeth last night, so I'm good. I'm going to wash it, get that coffee stain out. I am going to listen to church today on TV. Yeah, it's going to be a lazy day. And then maybe I will do my little show and tell for Sunday in my, in my other little boudoir. But now I'm just being lazy. Laying down. I need to get my ass out of this bed and do a little bit of. Oof, I won't scare you all, but I'm looking a freaking hot mess. Anywho, guys, I will see you later. Simba, Simba, hi, Squaffo. Okay, my dogs want to go downstairs, so let's go. Mud and Jack, down down. Go, Scrubs. He will not go until I go. All right, come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go, my little fur babies. They are attached to my hip. <laughs> they are attached to my hip. Let's go, Scrubs. 
What's up, Simba? Okay. Good morning. Let's see if this light is off. Why are you jumping around? What's the point? Why are you jumping around? So I am going to make breakfast as Mr. Remy is looking at me. Look at a greedy little dog. He wants his snacks. So he's all the way in the kitchen. Can you back up? Back up. Come out of that kitchen. Over there. Come out of the kitchen. Stop asking for stuff. You guys, your beds are me messed up. What did you do? Toss and turn all night long, puppies? All right. This banana for sun. Oh, this bananas are not ready. Did you give Simba a snack? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what are you looking at? What? It's your snack. You said you're not looking at me like I want some more. Like it's Oliver Twist. Crazy. Not time, not time to scare you all. Yeah, Remy needs to take out that trash.
unplug this to bring it to bring you guys closer so i'm gonna make me an avocado toast avocado and i'm gonna use this rolls or bun i call it they're rolls they're not buns from sprouts they are super soft and i'm gonna put them in the skillet Omega 3 Smart Butter. Omega 3. Turn you guys Alright guys, my toast is ready. I, I burnt it a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. And my dogs, they smell it, so they feel like it's time for them to eat. You guys don't eat. Oh, I do not like this avocado. That's a no. Let's get another one. I got this from Sprouts. What the hell? Oh my God, they're super ripe. Super, super ripe. Let's see if this is good. Okay, yeah, this is good. Why did I pick? That's why I don't like to buy a whole bag. I like to buy avocado. This is avocado from Mexico. That's what it says on here. Avocado from Mexico. Let me make myself a avocado sandwich and it's so soft i don't need to try to take the seed out but um this went bad so fast because they're super soft all right we'll get a good part I love my avocado. I really do. I'm the only one in this house who eats avocado. Remy follow, follows his dad's lead because his dad doesn't eat it, so he don't eat it. But if I push him, he will. Eat some avocado. It's good for you. Stop being such a picky eater. All right. Oh, full of avocado. Yum, yum. Okay. I need some orange juice. Simba, stop following me. Mm. That one 
are usually like simply simply orange it has calcium i usually like tropicana but no sugar added but i opted for this because they didn't have tropicana where i went so boy if you don't stop making that sound simba go sit down is that This is my breakfast, guys. Very simple. Nothing to it. This is avocado toast and a glass of orange juice, and I'm good. Look at my dogs, it's inching. Simple but delicious. Delicious. I mean, you put a paper napkin on that stand. It's, I see it's empty. And that's it for my breakfast, guys. That's it. You are dealing with it and begin to meditate upon those. That means the reader. And to talk it back to God, to ask Him to speak to your heart, open your heart, and help you to understand what He is saying to you. You may have one pastor scripture you stick with a long time. It may be that He'll send you to several pastors, but meditating on the Word. And He says, meditate on the Word when? Day and night. Now listen to what this passage says. He says, if you want to succeed in life, if you want to prosper in life, this is the way you do it. Now here's what happens. We take a passage like this and, and we... We categorized that and put it way back down to several thousand years ago and said, well, that's what God said to Joshua. What God said to Joshua, he meant, listen, for every single one of us to hear and to understand. That's why we've got a Bible. God has preserved this awesome book for us. He says, now listen, you want courage. He says, be strong and very courageous. He said that to him three times. But he told us, if he had just said to him, be strong and courageous, strong and courageous, strong and courageous, and didn't tell him how, that would have been rather unfair. How do you tell somebody... Well, when you say to somebody, well, stop feeling that way. Haven't you felt real bad about somebody? And somebody, say somebody says, so, well, just don't feel that way. Well, what do you mean don't feel that way? If I feel that way, that's where I, that's where I feel. Well, just stop feeling that way. Well, how am I going to stop feeling that way? Well, the person says, I'm fearful. What do you tell me? Don't be afraid. Why not? There's a reason. He says, if you're not meditating upon the Word of God, you know what that's doing? Here's what that's doing. That's building into our mind that the way God thinks. Now, what did what does God think? Here's what God said. I will be with you, and I will go before you. When I'm reading a passage of scripture that says God will be with me, and God's going before me, and going to take care of the situation, I don't have to worry and fret. I can be courageous and bold. What builds courage? Meditating upon the Word of God, because here's what happens. The Word of God, listen, the Word of God begins to be imprinted in your mind, in your spirit. That's why the Holy Spirit can bring scriptures to your mind. In those fearful moments, listen, be strong and courageous. Fear not, neither be that is made, for the Lord thy God is with thee, with us of thou goest. An awesome promise to every single one of us. The first time I ever read, remember reading that verse, my mother gave me that verse the night before I preached my first sermon. She knew I was afraid. It's in my home church, and this is Little Charles. And so, you know, everybody comes to, for a demonstration. And so it was, it's, a, it's the worst place anybody can start preaching is in your own home church where you grew up and they know all the bad things you did. And so my mom walked in the bedroom and she says, I want you to, and she says, this is a verse of scripture, the Lord laid on my heart, and she says, I want to give it to you. I memorized that verse before I got to church, and I remember walking up there and standing on the other side of the street by the light pole there and quoting that verse to myself and just reminding myself, now, Lord, when I stand up to preach, don't let me think about who's sitting out there. Let me think about what you said. You would be with me. Listen, every single promise in this book that God has given his servants. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same in Jesus' name. God bless you. I want to talk to you today about a turnaround is coming. 
We all face situations that look like they'll never change. It's easy to get discouraged and accept that it's never going to work out. But God said in Zephaniah 3, I will turn things around for my people. He's a turnaround God. He turns barren wombs into babies. He turns red seas into dry pathways. He turns five loaves and two fish into dinner for thousands. He turns skin filled with leprosy into skin as clear as a little baby. When thoughts tell you your situation is permanent, you'll never get out of this problem, never get well, never see your family restored, no, get ready, a turnaround is coming. God is about to turn sickness into health, turn addictions into freedom, turn lack into abundance, turn struggle into ease. You're coming in to a turnaround season. You're going to see the hand of God do things that are unusual, uncommon, out of the ordinary. This is what Zechariah said. God has turned my mountains into molehills. Mountains represent obstacles, things that look permanent, like it's immovable. Depression can be permanent. This sorrow is not how your story ends. He walked over to the coffin. The pallbearers set it down. They didn't know what was happening. Jesus spoke to the little boy. Said, young man, wake up. The little boy sat up in the coffin, began to look around. Jesus went over, picked him up, and handed him to his mother, alive and well. She went from great sorrow to great joy. From great mourning to great rejoicing. From being depressed, distraught, not knowing how she could go on. But then the God of the turnaround stepped in. Now she's still weeping, but these are no Amen. longer tears of sadness. They are tears of joy. Sometimes life gets tough. You shed tears from hurts, from a bad medical appointment, from a child that breaks your heart, from dreams that don't work out. There will be times of mourning, but what I want you to see is that's not the end. We serve a turnaround God. Like with this woman, he's going to step in and turn the sorrow to joy, turn the brokenness to wholeness, turn the mourning into dancing. Imagine this solemn funeral procession. On their way to the burial grounds, all the weeping, mourning, everyone stepping out of the way respectfully. Then Jesus meets the woman, raises the little boy. They don't continue on to the cemetery. They don't keep going to the burial plot. They turn around and go back into the city. People start asking, why are you back so soon? Why didn't you bury him? They answer, there's no need. We had a turnaround. Something unexpectedly changed in our favor. We all have these situations at times that look dead. Dreams we've given up on. Promises that seem like it's too late. God is saying, I'm going to bring dead things back to life. There are going to be turnarounds that leave you in awe. You left defeated, but you're going to come back victorious. You thought your business was dead. God's about to surprise you. Increase is coming. Favor is coming. New clients are coming. You thought you'd have to live with that sickness. Just manage that depression. No, a turnaround is coming. God's about to do something out of the ordinary. Something supernatural. Like these people, you're going to be in awe, amazed at the greatness of our God. I met a man that was Remy, very healthy. What did you want? Family, successful career. But in his mid Hello guys. Being that we didn't go to church, it's casual Sunday. And I'm still going to step out to go grab something to eat. But for the meantime, I have to show you guys my Sunday. Well, yeah, what we are usually do, what I got this week. Luxury or fashion or designer. Always using something. I did lose a bracelet. I think if my Chanel cuff came off my hand. Probably in my bedroom. Anywho. So 
it's a vlog guys so it doesn't have to be perfect just a vlog let me turn this guy off playing myself on on my tv but i can yeah why not give myself a plug okay it's, it's me doing my life sale i was like why should i put somebody else or a fireplace getting situated Where did the bag go? Where did it go? There it is. Things that I have to show. Let me put them over here. So guys, welcome, welcome. As the vlog continues. Why am I crooked? Guys, I still have to clean this other closet over here. If you guys, it's like, uh, yeah. So we did the, the main closet. I finally did the, um, the black, my black clothing. Like, I think I'm gonna make this earring show up. It looks like I'm not wearing an earring. But anyway, finally did that, decluttered that black, section of my closet a lot a lot of zara you guys will see it i think zara would thank me because there's a lot of zara items that came out of there yes yes guys you all don't ever get to see this side of the closet but there's a reason for that because <laughs> it gotta be fixed oh child but anyway welcome if you're new here welcome 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 this is jackie aka let me get myself together god sheesh aka fabulous jackie so if you're my favorite sister welcome back love you love you love you so i want to thank everybody that came to the live sale yesterday i don't want to scream because i'm sure ricardo is going to tell me i can't hear you it's like, stop it, Ricardo. But, uh, he be trying to give me a hard time. But he watches. That's the good part. Ha-ha. <laughs> Any publicity is better, bad or good. As long as you get the view. That's all that matters. I don't care what you say. Sticks and stone doesn't hurt my bones. Not even words. Nothing. Words don't hurt. Sticks and stones don't hurt because I'm made of steel. Okay. If you've been through what I've been through, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I hate these earrings. Now I might have to take it off. Anywho. Instead of water, I'm drinking Coke Zero. Reason being, I've had enough water today and I need a little sugar. But anyway, guys, welcome. I hate the fact that this ring light i hate this ring light that i used to have a better ring light this one is reflecting on my glasses come on now what should i hide Let me bring it down maybe yeah okay shush no more little circles and anyway sunday this is what we do on sunday we pay homage to handbags and whatever oh there goes the ring light again Whatever thing we have new in this closet. So. I'm trying to find the right spot. I am, I am, I am. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I'll probably show you guys that another day. But anyway, as my voice is like. 
did not make it to church today because the weather is really really bad and we were told to stay home if you don't have to be anywhere i mean i had to be in church but i decided you know what i will listen to some joe Austin on tv i mean he keeps me going so i think that's what i did my church does have a tv stream but for some reason i get distracted on online it's not on tv it's online so I wanted to watch TV because then I'm doing other things. I'm folding clo clothes. Oh my God, I cannot speak. I'm folding some things that came out of that closet so I could transfer it to my bonus closet. So you will see my shenanigans. I only had a avocado um, sandwich this morning with simply orange. It's all I have for breakfast. And now I'm super hungry. So after this haul, I am going to go to Sakura Buffet. This is J Japanese part. I know it's going to be super crowded, but we're doing to go. We, I'm just going to go there and get my to go because they, you can, some buffets, you cannot take food out. But this particular one, you can. They give you boxes. You fill out what you want and they wait and they charge you. And to me, that's like the best thing because I don't know how to eat at a buffet. It's like a waste of money. I go there, one my one plate, my second plate, I'm already full. But if I make a box of to-go, I get whatever I want. I can, even if I don't eat it, I keep it for later on. See what I mean? I keep it. God, this ring light. I'm going to get another tripod because this, this ring light is annoying. But anyway, yeah, so think about that. I don't want you all getting distracted, but oh, whatever that is. You all can see me back there. So, yes, guys, it's, it's what we're going to eat today. I didn't feel like cooking. I think breakfast, it, me in that kitchen was the only time I was going to go in there. So, I'm going to go. We're going to go, me and Remy going to go get dinner and get some for hobby. And sometimes I get that. I get a couple of slice uh, pot rolls for my dogs. And when they see me coming through with that box, they can smell that pot rolls. It's heaven. So that's what we're going to do today. It's not too far from the house. So we're going to go over there and get some to go. So what are we doing today, Jackie? Stop with the jibby jabbing. Because I don't want to make this vlog super long. It's casual chic. It's not church outfit. It's just, I just threw this Chanel denim jacket and, and jeans and, and my tennis shoes. And we called it a day. We did go to Uptown Chipskate. And before I do that, let me show you this cute little bag. I picked up at Didi's. It's Stella, Stella Blank. I love it. It's so, so rich. It's a drawstring. You see that? It has this little pull. You push down to make it a little bigger. How the inside looks it actually has a little pocket in there i'm like this is cute for going out you know if you don't want to carry you can even carry you don't even really need to i mean i'm not i was gonna say it's cute to go somewhere fancy but it's a crossbody still has the price i paid ten dollars for this bag i did this You know, when you go in there, say, oh, I'm going to go get hangers. And then I say, but you know what? Let me mosey on to the handbag section. And I found this cute little bag. I'm like, look at the chain. It's almost trying to give you a, a Valentino kind of chain, you know? Oh, I love it. Crossbody. You can even wear it casual now. It doesn't have to be. 
It doesn't have to be dressy. Cute. For $10.99. I just, and then it has this little pearls for the closure. Can you all see that? Nice. I don't know if I had gone to a a showroom, I probably would see this bag. But the wholesale price will be probably the same what I got at Didi's. The only thing is, I, I will not pay tax. But I have to buy a certain amount. You know, in different variations. Because they will not just let you buy one bag. You can't go to the wholesale place and buy one bag. They'll be like, oh no, that's not what we do here. You have to buy at least six pieces. At least. But I love this cutesy. So, I'm going to put this in my little sequin area on the top way up there that's where most of my sequins are so it kind of i just love it and anyway thought i should show you guys that super cute super cute super cute all right We went to Uptown. They had a sale. I got two items, which I told you guys in the car. I got a pair of boots. These boots were $7. They're by Shoe Dazzle. I mean, I just love the way they're made. I'm not a Shoe Dazzle. Like, oh, I'm going to Shoe Dazzle to buy shoes now. Once upon a time when they make you become, was it Shoe Dazzle? There was a company that you have to be a member but every month you have to pick a certain shoe and then they charge your account. I did that one time when I owned my boutique and I canceled it, but they still charged me and sent me some shoes that I didn't even pick. I was pissed and I had to call and yell and threaten. So they finally took me off. It's either Shoe Dazzle or what's that other site called? They're all LA showroom. I forgot. It's some other shoe. They all same shoe bag. So So I got these boots. Ooh, excuse me. See that? And they are tie high, but uh, I didn't even try them on. They were only seven dollars and I got I got 20% off of this. And because I use my, I brought in my bag, I got extra 10% off. So I don't even know what I paid for this. Like really nothing. Maybe $5 <laughs> if that. Beautiful boots. I love that part. So I came home. I said eight and a half. I came home and they were a little big on me. Especially this. So I think I'll have to wear it with some thick leggings or jeans because they were falling off my thigh. Actually, not even my thigh, all the way down to my foot. I was like, ah, but I love this part of it. The green zipper and the stiletto kind of rubber, rubber heel. And then we got this part. So I think I'm going to wear with some skinny jeans or some thick leggings so this part doesn't keep falling off. Or maybe even... No, I'm going to wear with something. I was going to say maybe even put an elastic band around here and then just let it... I, I don't know. I don't want to go through all that, but if that's what it is. So, okay. What else do I got to show you? I have a good item. Being that we're doing early showroom. Now, I want to hold. I want to show you guys that last. Let me show you some beautiful pieces I got from my lady. The sustenance is there. I'll tell you guys, this lady sells some cute, cute pieces. And every time she gets something new... She really, this time, did not bring that many. 
and i was just she just got like one of each one of that and it's me and some other lady that always buy these pieces you guys know i love my cc look at that nice little sweater with the pearls on there just yes nice little crappy i actually started wearing it underneath this but i just feel like it was too much so i got that and then she got button down shirts but this was the only two she had i was like and they have did they have sizes they ain't got no sizes just a button down shirt because i asked her and she did not know what sizes they were but here we go look at the buttons even have the cc's on there it has a little give to it so just showing you guys i got that in the pink and white and then i got this one in the white and pink this is super cute love it so i can even wear that with my with my chanel jeans that i'm wearing right now i have some other jeans that sorry i put my hand right there it's a little tight but if I eat too much, I really cannot wear these jeans, but I haven't eaten, so I'm able to. <laughs> I'm able to wear the, the, the jeans. I'll be like, what? All right, so that's that. What else did I get? There's something else. I have dropped my coiler. There's something else, there's something else. Before I show you my uptown cheapskate. Oh, let's do an unboxing. I already opened it. Another luxury bag. Voila. So, there was one day I was wearing this, um, I don't know what shoes I had on, but it was patent leather. And I needed a patent leather bag. So I came in my closet and I couldn't find a patent leather bag. You know, I, I do have, I looked around, I have casual patent leather bags, like the Gucci, vintage Gucci ones, but I wanted something small or smaller. I have an MS tote, but it's big. I have a little mini Lady Dior bag, but it's deep green. I wanted black, so I went ahead and got this in patent leather you guys know i love my classic flaps i already opened it so it's really not an unboxing we go i actually want a gold hardware i mean a silver hardware ask me why i'm not a silver girl but i'm glad i switched it to the gold so this is the medium size Oh, another thing I wanted was a jumbo because I did not want a double flap. I wanted one flap. Oh, I do have an extra large uh, Mademoiselle Chanel patent leather. I have that, but it's this long. I just wanted something nice and quaint. So I figured this will be it. Gold hardware being that your girl always wear gold. Yeah. I always wear gold so this is a new addition i just hate the fact that it's is the medium size i wanted a jumbo they didn't have no jumbo i could have even taken a maxi because i mean this is cute to go to a party with with a jumbo i don't know if you <clears throat> want to wear a jumbo to a party but and the thing with that with the jumbo is you can make it cross body because i had a jumbo one that got stolen <clears throat> and i remember when i used to go to new york that's i used to walk around 34th and 7th and avoid as a cross body and it took a lot of things my glove my phone my everything was just able to fit in the jumbo because the jumbo was just one flap you just open it and pull whatever it wasn't a double flap so but anywho this is 
this will do for now until I can get a jumbo. So that's new in the in the boudoir. I had opened it before, guys, because I couldn't wait. But I'm just showing you guys. Couldn't wait to open it. So my next and final item is another treasure another vintage treasure from uptown cheapskate like i say when they see these vintage bags they assume they are not but there's a way to google these bags and they pop up so i did just that this is it still smells vintage it has a smell oh, let me let me spray some because every time I open it, it's like I want, I'm like, Ugh. I don't know how long this bag has been closed, but I'm going to spray some uh, Coco Mademoiselle in it so it can smell nice. Oh, yes. Mm, okay. Nice smells. Okay. It, it had that vintage smell. I'll be like, mm. this has been stored for a long time. But anyway, I went there yesterday. I got a, a text that they were having a sale, 20% off of all winter items, boots and jackets and whatever. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's all they had. Like this did not have no, no sale. This is a camera case. Beautiful camera case. Look at that the flap i will show you what it's selling on other side super soft you can put your phone here and it's a double zipper and on this one zipper has the tassel with the ball that says that has the cc and the other zipper you guys know during um the vintage time they just do those things on the zipper wrap they didn't you know do all that stuff but this one has another vintage um cc tag which i'm trying to show you but my nails are not letting me do it here we go double-sided camera case super soft right here the chain is passed through the chain is super heavy you can tell by the, the weight. You, If you really want to know about your bag being what it is, the weight of the chain itself can authenticate your bag because it's like some kind of 14 karat gold thing they use and it's super heavy. Now the inside on one side is just plain on this side. So there is no authentication or authenticity code in these bags because they are so old. Oh my God, this smells old. And this has, even with a mademoiselle, this has Chanel made in France up in here. And then it has that. I have to spray this bag because I'm, I'm gagging. It does have a, a old, old, old smell. It looked like it came out of somebody's trunk Whew. so yes guys so i walked in it wasn't out for anybody to see and usually i go to the area where they have bags that them they're not sure so they put them out there but um let's close this one I walked by there and I didn't see anything. So I said, let me go look. Being that I was having a live sale, let me go look in the regular bags where they have the kids' bed, the micro causes, and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I looked, walked by, looked, looked, looked. I didn't see nothing. So I said, let me take a second sweep. So I started, you know, going behind the bags like I'm digging for some kind of gold. And this was shoved all the way in the back. I'm like, what am I seeing? So I pulled it out. I was like, oh my God. It was $39. Don't know why. 
she cuts my tags and it has a little scratch right here, which is okay. Yeah. It has a little scratch. It's very soft and delicate, guys. It's like when you know about these lambskin bags. So I saw it and $39. I said, okay. So I picked it up, did my little, went to Google. And this bag comes in all kinds of shape. There's the one with a smaller flap. I will show you. And then there's this one did not... Somebody has this on their site, but they did not have a price on it. So I couldn't like really show you guys, but there is one exactly like this, but the, the cutaway is, is not like in the envelope. It's just straight up. And I think there's a price on that one. I forgot what it is, but I will show you on the side. I'm just so super happy. So I saw this, I was like, okay, Jackie, go hunting. So I started looking and looking. I saw a Prada, a vintage looking Prada. Nice soft leather, but it's like a lavender color. It's like an old lady style Prada, but they wanted $89. That bag is authentic because I did that too. It popped up, but I didn't ask my, I'm not spending $89. I didn't come to buy a bag. I, will, I don't, I mean, the bag is nice, but I didn't like the style. It's, I wish I would have taken a picture. It's a little bit this long and it has a two handle. The, the workmanship is just there. And I said to myself, if they had like a 20% off or 10% off of that bag, I would have picked it up. I want some kind of deal. But I know it's going to be there because I think I've accumulated 30 points where I can use my points for the next time. So if it's there next time, I will show you guys. Don't know. I was going to stop by there today, but the people that go to Uptown Cheapskate on who buys bags, I don't know because they've been missing a whole lot of good bags. I just think that it's a price point that they don't want to go past. And some of them are not privy to what these bags are because a bunch of young girls that work there. Don't get me wrong, but they are mighty young. But anyway, so I'm happy about my red bag. This is gonna go. Oh, and then they had a, a pochette. But that one I can tell you was not authentic because the, the canvas was very stiff. And they wanted $69 for it. They had a, a LV pochette. They had something like this, not a two tone, but all one. But that one I can tell by the canvas, it was kind of stiff. I'm like, oh no, I'll pass. But here is my vintage. I figured, you know what, being that I'm going to show red, actually when I'm wearing my denim, I should put a little red on there. And, you know, I might actually wear this at the house today to go get food. Let me put some stuff. Oh, this bag, the smell. Doesn't it smells like vintage leather? What the hell? How did I drop this? It smells like it's been stored for so long. What is this? Oh shoot! I'm trying to transfer my stuff in there. I think I just need to use it gotta use it so that smell i'll use my wallet on a chain i mean my uh, zip around chanel wallet and um uh, my makeup chanel makeup bag is in the other room in my bigger bag i carried the other day so I can just put this in here. I'm trying to too many zippers. It's just two. But oh. I didn't know that I had a zipper pocket on that side. Look, I need to cut off the tag on there.
what am I, I keep forgetting. What am I wearing today? Oh, a super stay lipstick. Super stay. I don't know where my other things are, but here I am with a vintage bag. I wanna start a fire now. I was burning this candle because I like the way it smells. But yeah, so this is it. Like I tell you guys, I usually carry my bag on the right side. I'm sure other people carry it on the left side, but I hope it's not raining. They said it was going to rain, but where I'm going is really not that far. So if I just, oh my God, I got a, this vintage smell in here. Got to go. Yeah pick up the food who knows i might stop by uptown see if they have something else you never know with this because people sell stuff every day it's like it's like um crossroads people go sell stuff every day so you never know what somebody's gonna sell and then you can just go back there somebody must have opened their grandma's trunk and grandma had all these bags and yeah you can just go there and see if they put anything out so my sister was amazed when she came here, my older sister, and she was so like, oh my God, I wish we had this in Houston. And we Googled it, and there's one right close to her house. She didn't even know, but now she knows. Anyway, guys, so this is it. There goes my jeans, my denim jacket, my belt, my vintage bag. I love to find vintage bags. It's just, the leather is super, super soft. Look at that just just yummy soft i bet the bags are very delicate so it's already scratches on the bottom but between this and my other black one i can i don't know what else to say i'm just happy and i'm thankful all right guys so this is it for my show and tell in the closet until next time i will let you know i am gonna go get food i pass right by uptown i'm gonna make a quick stop <laughs> super that prada bag is still there if i can really really authenticate it very well because when i did it the bag came up but in different sizes not the old lady size so sometimes when you 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 google the bag you do it twice then they, they don't show you everything at once then if you didn't show it the first time if you do it again, it's going to pop up with different variations. And I had only, I think I only did it once. So I think I'm going to do it again and see what pops up. But anyway, guys, I will see you when I see you. Okay. I'm going to go get food and then I think I'll close this vlog. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. And so this is Hobby's food. And this is Remy's. Remy, can I see my food, please? Show you guys what I have. Let me see that. Just open it. Open it. We got some of this. We got beignet. We got ribs. And all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to show you guys. This is my food. Somebody else took my food. So I had to improvise. Look at all this. All this goodness. Okay. Close it. Let me see the other plate. This is dinner, guys. It's a lot. This is where my dogs, they have roast beef and they know it, so they're like having a heart attack. All right, guys. So that's what we're having for dinner. Bon appetit to us. Oh, my dessert. Oh, this is a dessert. I'm always breaking the dessert. Okay. This is dessert, guys. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. I'm gonna take some beaters before we eat all the sweets. Macarons, Napoleon, red velvet. I mean, maybe it's in here.